Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox. I mean, today we are growing our little desert here. We are slowly expanding it and there's even a little bit of a swamp going on over here. Very, very exciting. Uh, we're also working on our ficus trees growing up here in our jungle also. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the ambience, ambient sounds change depending on which biome you are in, which is an amazing detail. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, it does change. It's a very, very cool detail. I'm very much enjoying this game. Um, and up here we are slowly trying to get a, a dark green tall tree so we can become we can become we can uh, start growing a little bit of oh there's a rosemary uh you're right we need this rosemary to also grow come bigger because uh we need it to be come a fern um with two percent let's do that and also, our juniper tree needs to be the color uh, dark green because we need it to be... Oh, no! <laughs> our tall tree needs to be dark green because we need a juniper tree for our task where we also need a fern species. So that's what we're working on up here. It's all just... It all just ties together, guys. Uh, it's very exciting. Um, sorry. <laughs> I got distracted by something. Um, now let's see. Because we do have a desert blooming up here. Slowly but surely. And I do believe... Right, we need, we need a desert eagle up here. And we also need hares. I don't even think we have rabbits yet. No, we don't. So... I mean, that kind of tells us something. We, we were growing some ash trees somewhere, I believe. Um, but I'm unsure where they went now. Here they are. Uh, these are sycamores, but I thought they would be ash trees. They look just about the same. Over here we have oak trees. And some wobbly trees. Um, yeah, you guys, I don't know where the ash trees have gone. So let's see. Um... They like grassland, forest, and woodland. Okay, hold on. There we are. So, let's see. We needed to be a rabbit. Right, then we needed the ash trees. So, the ash trees were kind of fine wherever they were. Rabbit trees. Rabbit trees? I know. <laughs> guinea pigs um, are suitable in the same places. So I think we should put ash trees kind of over here. Um, yeah, I, I do believe... Oh, here's a tall tree that's actually... Okay, let, let's start evolving that into a juniper, juniper tree. And let's stop you from spreading any more of those. And while we're doing that, we shall put down an ash tree over here there we go now it's not next to its preferred liked species which is large rocks we can put down a large rock for you that's okay ash tree ash tree sounds like a warrior name um, there we go that should definitely make you happy altitude factor is not ideal that's because you want to be higher up 
Right, I remember now. Um, well, unfortunately, I didn't remember when you told me that. Also, you are... Well, when I planted you. You are so close to being up in the high altitude, so... That's unfortunate, but oh well. And the guinea pigs needed to be close to two of them. Yeah. And their satisfaction has to be up a lot. So let's put a new guinea pig. Uh, oh, we've unlocked the juniper tree. Let's go and grow that real quick. Right there. A suitable biome. Not really, but that's because you want... Oh, snow as well. Okay. Well, this is more of a forest area. So we need to spread the forest biome a little bit. By putting some sage up here. Maybe even some rosemary. Like that. Um, and our guinea pigs. We, we need a little herd of guinea pig up here and let's see what do you guys need uh, herbs and flowers okay so they need herbs as well we need forest herbs like oregano maybe some sage here as well right there and it needs another like species uh, never mind, it got close enough to some grass, but let's put another grass tuft right there. Just in case. Uh, there's also been a mutation. There we go. Can I get lynxes? I don't think I saw any lynxes, but that would be absolutely amazing. No, no lynxes here. Um... But yeah, I, I, I absolutely adore lynxes as well. They are amazing cats. Well, felines, I suppose. I completed the mighty jungle. Oh, oh, well, look at that. <laughs> We're already done. And we have now unlocked the butterfly. That's amazing. And very expensive. <laughs> A very colorful insect which flies around in fields. Uh, it can increase the productivity of nearby fruit trees and enjoys flowery areas. Prime target for frogs and toads. It can live basically anywhere. Well, you know what? As a little celebration, let's put a little butterfly down in our apple orchard over here, I suppose. Or over here in our lush. Yeah, I think. Some butterflies right here would actually be. Oh, and it starts as a little larva. That's amazing. An amazing detail. I'm, I'm really proud. Proud? <laughs> I'm really impressed with, with the detail this game has to offer. For being a low poly game. It, it's actually amazing. Um, But let's see. We unlocked a bunch of new th things. We unlocked Flutterby, which is just add a bunch of flutter uh, Flutterbys. <laughs> uh, butterflies. And then we unlocked Honey. We unlock Honey if we do that. Um, we also unlocked Blooming Gorgeous, which is from Blooming Star Bloom bushes. I believe those were pretty expensive to... Um, to evolve um, and I feel like we also unlocked one more thing but I can't seem to find it unfortunately oh well that's okay uh, we do also need a red mushroom and for that we need a button mushroom to be red and in a 30% or more swamp and as you guys might remember we actually start the swamp over here which is just 35% so let's put a uh, little bottom mushroom right there 
And let's give it the color coding uh, red. Okay. And also it has... It, oh right, it likes trees. Well, unfortunately for you, you're becoming a red mushroom soon enough anyways. So, well, you won't, but your offspring will. And the desert up here is looking nice. Uh, how's our guinea pigs over here looking? We don't quite have enough ash trees yet uh, to get a rabbit up here, but that's okay. It'll, it'll go fast enough. There we go. Trees are growing. <laughs> They're eating a bunch of things. <laughs> Our points are flying in. There we go. Now the ash tree is at least fully grown, so they'll start. Oh, you guys. Look at this. Look at all these butterflies and life. And our berry bushes have apparently evolved a mutation as well. So let's see. There we go, it's just auto-saving again. Uh, let's see if we can put down... Well, actually, we can't put down another butterfly, can we? Because they cost <laughs> so many points. But we can almost evolve a little rabbit. As this tree is going to spread its little seeds any second now. And how's the mushroom doing? There are only red mushrooms left, and that is perfect, because we will start evolving actual red mushrooms now. And these are just little fake ones. <laughs> there we go. Now the question is, will we actually have time? Oh no, we won't. Okay, so we need to spread the swamp a little bit over here. By just putting some more grass around. Um, you should take over evolving for now, I think. And let's see what we can do with the desert, hmm? Oh, I see. This was the other quest. I just confused it with Flutterby. We need to have 15 butterflies caught by frogs. Oh my. <laughs> I was actually wondering, how do we get frogs? The most simple of a frog. That's a toad. Here's a frog. We get them from lizards. And we get lizards from... The rabbit quests. Okay. Which we also need carrots for. Good gracious, there's a lot to do here. <laughs> and carrots we get from wild mint. And wild mint should be over here somewhere, I believe. I wonder if there's a way to, um, to see if you have it in the world? Let's see, wild mint. Can we see if we have that anywhere? It doesn't look like it. Um... Oh, we've successfully evolved a red mushroom. There we go. So now we will remove these mushrooms. There we go. Just to make it a little bit more... Um, more fun. And that actually grows into the tall mushroom. If they're in a lush biome. So we might lush, lush. <laughs> we might mix lush and uh, swamp over here. I can't believe this all started with a little grass tuft and a chicken. <laughs> so amazing. Let's see.
And there we go. We can actually plant another butterfly, but I don't think we... Oh, the population is actually becoming smaller over here now. Oh, well, I think we should put another butterfly over here in this area. They seem to, um, they seem to really like... Uh, actually, they, they give quite a lot of points. Um, for being such a small little creature. But, which is fair, because butterflies are very important. I do believe they are pollinators. A very, very important part of, of life and nature. How are our future rabbits doing up here? That's an oregano. Uh, they are good. We just need the points. <laughs> and there we go. There we go. So we have rabbits on the way, finally. Now we just need to fix the wild mint. <laughs> and see if we can get some some carrots as well. Uh, let's see. What does wild mint like to be next to? Stones and flowers. Is this wild mint? It is. Great. Okay. So this one is doing great. This one is not for the reason being that they don't have any flowers. But let's put some uh, grassland flowers over here actually. How about we just put a bunch of them? You know what? Yeah, let's just put tulips. There we go. Um, a little bit of, of... I would put buttercup, but that spreads. Uh, I do be believe that they spread... Um, yeah, buttercup spread woodland, which I don't want. But let's put some grass or some actual uh, tulips over here. Or daisies, I mean, not tulip. Um, there we go. And let's see if we can figure out how to get a carrot. We need rabbits. <laughs> oh, how it all just works together in the end. So let's see if we can speed up the... Oh, we completed another task. The flutterby task. And also the swamped task. Well, let's see what new kind of things we have unlocked here. It's a trap. Uh, we need to catch flies. Have the fly trapper catch 40 flies. The plant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was a plant. That's why I got so confused. I was like... My first uh, original thought was a flies would be eaten by frogs. But I, I, I they're talking about the Venus fly trap. Is um, what I'm assuming they're talking about here. Um, and then we also have Honey, I'm Home, uh, a turnip for the books, um, and of course the other quests we already had. Now let's see, we unlocked a willow tree, a, ra a rather ill-looking tree with drooping leaves. This leaves, the tree grows better in swampy areas and prefers a stone-free soil. Grows when surrounded by mushrooms. Okay, well, boy, do I have the perfect spot for you right there. Uh, that's perfect. <laughs> and we have successfully evolved a rabbit. A tiny little carrot hopping bun. Right there is where we're putting you. Oh. <laughs> oh, we've been working for this for so long now. I'm assuming it likes carrots. Yeah, we need to evolve carrots, little friend. Which do you need to be part of? Because we need three of you. Three little bun buns need to be jumping around before we can get carrots. So let's... You know what? Let's speed it up. Let's see if we can get these carrots in the same episode. Well, not the carrots, maybe. But at least the, um, the progress of getting carrots. Let's see this little bun bun jump up. Oh, oh, oh. What do you eat, bun bun? Uh, you eat root vegetables, fruit bushes, and fallen fruit. Well, that's a problem. We don't have a lot of that here. We have a tomato plant. But that's uh, unfortunately not quick enough. 
for you, I think we might just lose our first little bun bun. Oh. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll just put another one down. Act like nothing happened. In fact, let's put two. And why not even just boom, three right there. And let's see if we can have our wild mint become carrots. Boom. There we go. So you guys, next time we'll hopefully see grown-up little carrots. Carrots? <laughs> well, that too, I suppose. But grown-up little bun buns and finally get carrots into the world. And maybe work a bit on the desert biome. But until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.